So we're back at the Femmes office. Our tests have been incubating now for about two days. We left them at about room temperature, so we left them for longer. Although you should probably incubate them for a day at body temperature, but we don't have an incubator here. So yeah, we're here to look at the test results and see if we have anything that looks like E. coli in our Delft canal water. And hopefully not in our tap water, but we've tested that one as well. So first of all, let's go and look at the cholinary test. So I am taking out the tubes now. Both of them appear to have a yellow coloration. So what does the yellow mean? So yellow means there is some type of coliform in it. If it was clear, then no coliforms present. So in order to see if these coliforms are E. coli or not, we need to go and view the solutions under UV light. So let's go into our dark room. Follow me. So here we have our little dark room setup because the lights do not switch off. So what I'm gonna do is just place the UV light inside this cupboard. And as you can see, it's already fluorescing. And I'm gonna place both of the samples on top. I will place the, the tap water on the left and then the water from the canal on the right. If I kind of close the cupboards here and you can have a sneak peek. Ah, so it seems to me that the test tube on the right is fluorescing slightly under UV light, whereas the one on the left definitely is not. So is the one on the right the Delft Canal water? Yeah. Yeah, and the one on the left is tap water. So seeing as it was, they were both yellow, but the one on the right is fluorescing under UV light, that indicates we probably have E. coli in the Delft Canal water, but not in our tap water. So perhaps we can go back now to our station and look at the second test, which is the petrofilm test. Cool. So, petrofilm test. We have prepared these two petrofilms. So first of all, if we just look at the tap water sample, it's pretty clear. Uh, so there's no bacteria growing in there. But on the contrary, if we look at the water from the canal, there's definitely colonies growing in there. So as you can see, most of them appear reddish. So we can say that these are non-E. coli coliform colonies, but there are maybe two or three blue colonies showing up here. It means that oh, blue, the blue colonies are E. coli colonies from the canal water. And that matches up with the fluorescence we saw in our Delft canal water sample. Whereas the H2O from the tap had no fluorescence. So we think in the Delft canal water, there is some E. coli, and so we should not drink the Delft canal water. Yeah. Essentially. But those results kind of align with what we expected, right? So tap water, some things in it, but nothing too dangerous. Canal water, Lots of stuff in it, some of it potentially dangerous.